How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over five reasons why you will love the Note 5. Um, I've had a couple of days with it and I found some things that I'm really excited about. Some like things that were kind of buried in the, in the phone, not really advertised, but that I really love and I want to show them to you today. So let's get right in it. Uh, this first one is uh, already an advertised type thing, but I love it, which is um, that when you do pop the pin out, it does, uh, excuse me, when the screen is off. So let's say your screen is off. When you pop your pin out, it does automatically launch S note and allow you to write notes. So we can, you know, write something here, save life. And I can just save that. So like one, I, I've used Action Memo a lot. But you know, you gotta take the pin out, you gotta hit the button, and then you have to like go to it. It's like three steps to get to it. So if you wanna write a memo, now it's a matter of just turning the phone off and taking the pin out and it automatically launches it. The cool thing too is afterward, I can go right to S Note or if you have your pin out still, um, you should see a little floating icon. There we go. I can go right to uh, S Note and that's where you'll find your memo. So it saves it and it converts it into an action memo and it doesn't look you know, in black and white afterwards. So that's the first thing. Really love that. The next thing is going to be the, the fast wireless charging. Uh, now this feature um, technically isn't available yet because the only fast chargers are available. Uh, basically Samsung is the only one that makes them right now as far as I know and they're not out yet. So, uh, but just the idea that I can continue to use wireless charging and now it's going to be so much faster. Uh, basically fast charging like when you plug in uh, your uh, charger in the box. I'm super excited about that. I'm so tired of using cords. So I'm really glad to like switch that up and have that be the way I charge um, for everything. I even have the, the car dock where you just pop your phone in there and it automatically starts charging. So totally love that, really excited about that. The third thing is gonna be the design. So one of the things about the Note 5 is that you have to feel it. You actually have to uh, hold one in your hands because like basically the way they've curved the edges now, uh, it feels just incredible. Um, it's just a whole new feel from the Note 4. And the funny thing is everyone that I let hold it tells you, oh man, like it feels so much lighter. It's actually not lighter, it just feels lighter because what they did was they added this curve, so all you feel is this part right here, but really there's more to the phone. So it's the phone is bigger, but they make you they make you think that it's slimmer. So it, it's kind of a funny little marketing trick, but it looks great, and the phone actually does feel a lot better. So love that. Now here's the fourth thing. The fourth thing is gonna be the the fingerprint scanner so they finally updated that so no more having to swipe down to unlock your phone it's just a matter of just tapping to unlock it to you know use your paypal or to log into your samsung stuff so totally love that now number five is the one i'm crazy excited about i just happened to be playing with the phone and i found this today and i was like what this is crazy so look go to your email there was a feature that was on the note 4 and note 3 that was called um what was it called? I think it was called AirView. And you could take your pen and you could actually hover over text. But the problem is on the older versions, when you hovered over, it would only show you like a very small part of the message. So it, it really didn't do what it was supposed to do because the whole goal of it was to allow you to see the whole message so you don't have to open it. But now when you hover over it, it actually allows you to see a lot of text, way more that like actually makes sense and this feature doesn't just work on emails, but it also works on text messages as well. So I can just go to a random message here and I can hold down on it and or hover over it and I can read this whole message without even opening it. And so this was such a great improvement, something that definitely needed to happen. So uh, very, very excited about that. Now I threw a couple of bonus features in here because the, there are the five, but there's so much more that, again, it's really awesome, but I really wanted to highlight those main five. Um, number, I guess, bonus one, I would say, is the Samsung Pay, which does release next month. Now, the way it's supposed to work, because I've seen a couple of the phones that are in beta for it, it's just a matter of just swiping up. And once you swipe up, it's gonna automatically take you to um, the Samsung Pay app, and you can pick your card, and then you can pay. 
Um, very smooth, very seamless. And again, the fact that it's accepted at uh, basically 90% of the retailers like out the door is great. So like basically everywhere you shop, you're gonna be able to use this. So this is a, a really awesome feature. And obviously Apple Pay has been out for a little while, but it's only accepted at 10% of retailers right now. So like what's the point of getting excited about something you can barely use anywhere? So uh, very excited about Samsung Pay, which is supposed to release um, probably within the next week or so. Uh, bonus two, I would say, is this. So when you do have your pin out, now you just have your little hovering um, little bubble here that takes you to all your extra features, or you can just use the button, just click, and it will launch. Now, these four are presets. Actually, these three are presets. Action Memo, Smart Select, and Screen Write. But these three, you actually have the option to change. So maybe you don't want S Note here, or Gallery, or Chrome. All you're gonna do is hit your settings wheel at the bottom here, and you can actually select what three apps. So go to shortcuts, and I can change these three apps and make it whatever I want. So whatever you feel you're gonna use the most with the pen, you can put that there. And to me, that's really important because it just it just really changes, again, how you use the phone, and it says, hey, like, these apps are important to me, I wanna be able to use these, and so therefore you can. I'm gonna highlight a few other features just really quick. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on them, but these are big changes that I've been, I've been waiting for that did come on the uh, S6 that are now on the Note 5. So one of them, we have quick launch camera. So double tap your home button, automatically launches the camera. Love so much. I'm a crazy, like, take a ton of pictures type of guy, and so I just always wanna be able to get to my camera. So that's awesome. Um, they have changed the way uh, multi-window works now. You just hold down on your recent apps button and you just tap your two favorite apps here and then they open up. So that's that. Um, let's see, now we have our flashlight that you can actually add right here in your uh, notification panel. Again, that should be on every phone. Like people need a flashlight and they usually use their phone for it. So love that. I know it's a small thing, but it doesn't matter. I love it. Um, Let's see, what else do they have? There's like one or two more things. Oh, so if you pinch on the home screen, you actually now have the grid view, which will actually allow you to have more apps on your screen. So no four, the screen was huge, but I couldn't have more than a four by four ratio. So I was missing a whole row of apps or widgets. So now you can really adjust it. Maybe you want to just have four or five or four or four or like I love it, 5.5. Five. I used to have to download a special app, a launcher, just to get that look because they would they would only allow you to have so many apps there. So now that you can have 5.5, five five, I love it. It's so freaking incredible. So I'm gonna stop right there. Um, again, there's a lot more that this phone does and I'm just highlighting just the things that I'm really excited about. So I really gave you more like nine or 10, but the video is primarily about those five that I'm really excited about that really, even before I got the phone, that kind of swayed me into upgrading from my Note 4. Um, I'm gonna end the video really quick by just hitting on the, the points that you guys are probably all saying to yourself, like, whoa, but it doesn't have expandable storage, it doesn't have a, you know, extra battery, or you can't change the battery out. Like, you know what? You guys, it is what it is. Like, this is a, a really great upgraded phone. Yes, I wish I could have, you know, you know, have the removable battery and I wish I could have added more storage, but you know what, from what I've heard, Samsung is going in a different direction and, you know, although this is what we want, like this is the future of their phones and the future of a lot of other phones and so, um, I'm just highlighting what's good about it because although it doesn't have those two things, it still has some really incredible stuff that really makes the phone more convenient and, and overall it makes our lives easier by having the phone. So I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and have a good one.